I'm Tucker Hume. I'm a forward, and uh, I'm the rule follower of the twin, and uh, more reserved as well. And I'm Walker Hume. Um, I'm a junior on the team, but I'm also in the in the booth right now. I'm the voice of the Tar Heels. Yeah, I feel connected to the team because of my brother. You know, I always get to watch them play, and I get to call the games for, for my teammates and having a good time up there. Having him call the game is a lot of fun, especially after the game, hearing him commentate on our games. And uh, there's a lot of us watch full game replay, so it's a lot of fun to hear his voice and uh, see what he has to say when we're, while we're playing. Yeah, sometimes I just wish he would get a little bit more excited for, some, for certain things, but uh, I mean, hopefully that will come. I have to stay neutral in the, in the box, so sometimes like my voice might not sound energetic, but I'm actually behind the, the camera, like fist pumping, really la celebrating with all, like, all the people in the box. Oldest weaving through a couple of players, looking for Hume. Nice turn by Hume. Shot! Goal, North Carolina! Yeah, this goal, this was one of my favorite goals, just because uh, it was late in the game, and I just got that ball and I knew that those guys would be coming up hard and so when I when I spun them I, I was was able to get free and was just saw the back of the net and just decided to rip it as hard as I could because the ground was wet and I knew that uh, if I I tried to keep it low but uh, that didn't happen I did so I just hit it as hard as I could and I was planning on actually doing a knee slide for the celebration but I remember falling earlier and the water being really cold on the crown so I didn't want to go down again Looks like Omohonis just got by Carvalho there and slipped Tucker Hume in behind. And he did a good job to beat Lombard there and get a finish and put it in the back of the net. I just remember when he scored this goal, we were all like going crazy in the booth just because there was only six, six and a half or so minutes left. And But I remember you were, you were got all mad at me because I didn't call the turn. I think he thought his turn was, it was a nice turn to, for, for goal, but he, he, was, he, he wanted me to call that, play that up a little bit more in the booth than I did. Olofsson in October, back and forth. October clears that one. That's when I thought you were going to have it by the header right there. Wind settles, get a shot off. At the feet of Hume, scores! Yeah, that's one, this is one of my favorite goals just because of how the crowd reacted. Like, it was all kind of silent, and when Allen shot it, everyone was just kind of like, ooh. And then he shot it, and you just hear a big, loud roar. Had a couple chances moving the ball around. Had, had Syracuse on their toes, on their heels there, sorry. And uh, Allen took a shot, and it bounced like a Hume. And cool, calm, collected, just put it in the corner. But, uh, this one was nice just because it just all happened so fast, but it was also a nice one because the grass was, was wet, but and I got to do a, a fun knee slide, but uh, all my teammates were in the corner, and uh, I saw they were going crazy, so it just got me a lot more excited, and especially with 16 minutes left, I just had a good feeling that we were going to go out and score. Into the penalty area, looking to do it again. Looking for the head of Hume, gets it on, goal for North Carolina! This goal, this goal brings us back to high school days. I used to do a big long throw and put Walker in the box and he would just flick it in and it would either go to someone in the back post and they would tap it in or, or, would go at, or Walker would score. Got a bunch of assists like that, but yeah, that was, I even said it right when I got back to the, to the line. I said it to Allen, I go, that, that was a high school goal right there. Yeah, you know, that's the way the Tar Heels drew it up at practice. Big long throw from Jordan McCrary there. Just find the head of Tucker Hume, just redirect it towards goal. Then he'll play it back to Campbell. One over the top for Hume. Chest it settles, shot. Tucker Hume with a great. I'd say technically that was one of my, my best goals, just being able to take that ball on the chest and, and take it on the volley, on the half volley like that. But yeah, it's nice. I like I like Johnny Campbell getting the assist in there as well, but it's because I'm a defender. I've probably watched this goal maybe a hundred times. <laughs> They've got a two to one lead and a rocket shot from Tucker Hume. Yeah, he brought that down nice. He's got a hold of it. Yeah, the call, I got a lot of stick for the call just because it was like a time in the game where we needed a goal and, and they've been well, only seven minutes left and I, I guess I wasn't as enthusiastic as I should have been. But I, I, I can tell you I was pretty enthusiastic in the box with the headset almost coming off. Yeah, he just, he just too plain. Just, <laughs> I, would have, I would have started saying a lot. I, I always say, you gotta say better things about it for me and just like, just for, for, for the team and for everything, but he's like, I can't have to be bi I can't be biased, I need to be neutral. So it's just, I, I want him to be, to just be yelling and be like, what a goal, that's how you do it right there. <laughs> just stuff like that. You know, also makes it difficult for that Tulsa defense to see in all different sorts of. Nice pass there for Hume, he's gonna flick it on, it is partially blocked. First, first goal here at the Tar Heel, special feeling. Uh, 
one of my friends was in the stands from Rollins Vision as well, so that was something special. And uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't think I would have been able to score this goal if I wasn't that tall. <laughs> yeah, it's good, fo good goal for. Not the prettiest goal, but uh, yeah, Nico Mello just waited. Perfect timing on that run. Perfect timing on that ball. And lucky he's tall because he wouldn't. Have yes, not, yeah, I, I meant to call in there that said lucky he was tall because he he probably wouldn't have gotten that one. But yeah, a lot of people always talk about how they would call those goals and stuff. But when you get up there in the booth and you got the headset on, it's completely different. You kind of you got to always have something to say about everything. Yeah, I love being a color commentator just because it gives me something else to do up there. You know, I get to analyze the game and. I also get to see the game from like a different perspective. Uh, I can see plays that are made, and and, and sometimes I want to like when someone makes a mistake on the field, I want to like call it out when I'm on the headset. But then I'm like worried about next year if I'm, I'm out there playing and I make one of those same plays, they're gonna be like, why are you why were you critiquing critiquing all of us last year and now you can't even make the play, you know? But yeah, it's a, it's been a lot of fun up there. It would it would be a lot of fun to to be to commentate together on like the game and just because we would feed off each other pretty well, I feel like. One more wholeness here at the top of the box. Tucker Hume, oh, what a nice turn on goal. He slots it near post. What a goal for Tucker Hume there with 6.45 left. Break the deadlock between the Tar Heels and the Huskies. What a goal from Tucker Hume there. You can see the teammates come celebrate with him. Yeah, Omar got the ball, made a nice little juke on that defender, and Tucker just sensed that there were defenders on him. Nice turn and way to just bury it in the top corner. Good to get, good to break the deadlock right there and put the Tar Heels on his front. Tucker Hume's team, le team leading ninth goal of the season. Big one there for the Tar Heels. For Go Heels TV, I'm Tucker Hume. And I'm Walker Hume. And we're signing off. Go, Go Tar, Tar Heels. Heels.